after 23 years, a New York institution is closing its doors. Restaurant Florent is a 24-hour French-American diner, famous for its comfort food, colorful crowds, and the man behind the name, owner Florent Morlet. What stage are you in? We're still angry. We're still angry. We're, still angry. We're not ready. But for angry is next week. Oh, is that right? Yeah, this week is denial. To help his faithful customers come to terms with the restaurant's closing, Florent has assigned the five stages of loss to the last five weeks. Are you in denial? Yes, I am. Good. <laughs> Mondays are totally booked already. Yeah, we're expressing our anger on Monday. <laughs> So for us having this series of five parties dealing with the five stages of grief, uh, denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and then acceptance. Every single waiter wanted to work the anger night, but I can only use <laughs> four. Uh, <laughs> this is the celebration of the first stage, denial, with dancer Julie Atlas Muse as Cleopatra, the queen of denial. I wish the old girl were here. When I first opened the restaurant, my close friends were very worried. They said, gosh, it's nuts, it's crazy. This was an outpost. You know, nobody, people couldn't find it. It was in the middle of nowhere. So I moved in when it was meat packing and there was florent and it was this sort of slick with fat on the sidewalks and everybody said, oh, it stinks and they're the tranny hookers. But it was great, it had a lot of character. Now florent is being priced out of the neighborhood. The landlord raised the monthly rent from $6,000 to $30,000. And as a sign of how things have changed, last week, right outside the restaurant, there was a modeling shoot. There was a depression at the end of the 80s, early 90s, and it was cut awful in this neighborhood. Dangerous. And people didn't want to come to the restaurant anymore. We were losing money. We were getting mugged. And I had to have a happy face and said to customers who said to me, Isn't it be, hasn't it become dangerous in the neighborhood? I said, no, it's fine. <laughs> Everything can change around here in the neighborhood, but my hairdo doesn't change. We are the church ladies for choice of New York City. We wear polyester floral print frocks, sensible, sensible shoes, shoes, and, and earrings that pinch. That's, That's what, what keeps, keeps us so angry. angry. There's a shortage of places for rich people to go in New York City. There's a shortage of luxury housing. There's a shortage of places for rich people to go. There are a shortage of expensive stores like that. Florent, how dare he hold on to this property for so long? The restaurant Florent is a magnet. And it's like the mafia. Like, once you're in, you cannot be out anymore. Like, nobody gets ever fired. No, like, some, some people, they get, like, fired for one shift. Like, oh, I've been fired for Monday night. <laughs> So ridiculous. Where are you going to find a place like where you can be yourself and be fired for one shift? Giving it to somebody else. I think one of the reasons we've had so much longevity with the staff at Florence is because they choose people who they like, who they are, and they can pretty much be themselves within certain parameters. Um, those parameters get stretched a lot because it's Florence. I'm turning 55. Next oh, I'm month. turning 41. Again. <laughs> Florent uses his restaurant and notoriety to promote and raise money for gay rights, abortion rights, and choice in dying. But that's why we love him, because he's not just about French fries. He's an activist, he's a community leader, and he really supports all the good things, and he's just been an anchor. We love him. Thank you. Florent is not in the closet about anything in his life. Above the counter, behind the bar, the menu boards display his life story, the date he contracted HIV, the date he went into rehab. I always thought, it, you know, it was kind of, my stories were funny, were, you know, a badge of honor. And when I went into rehab, I realized it was kind of pathetic, sad, and that, and that I had scars, and that I was, you know, putting a, a face of bravado and humor. And yes, you know, it, I can tell them with humor, but at the same time, I can now tell them with humor while with a dose of reality. What next? Not another restaurant. It's time to move on. So this is what New York is about, you know. I mean, I came to New York because it was, I came to a place that was moving and changing because my hometown of 50,000 in France, if I would have stayed there, I would be either a total alcoholic or dead. Or the mayor. No. <laughs> he would say, 
I, I cannot run a restaurant at 80 uh, in drag because I, I will not. I will look like someone's grandmother. <laughs> I have been very happy to do it. You know, to be the uh, the grandmother of the meat market. But I'm starting. I'm ready to go on and be do something else than being the grandmother of the big market. Thorant has reached the final stage, acceptance. Now it's up to the rest of New York.